Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and others. Creature from the Gun, perhaps? I don't know. We'll be playing a bit more Ghost. I hope you were wishing for some more. But we last left off, we most likely completed the tutorial, and nothing more. At least I believe we, can, we completed the tutorial. Ah yes, this is a little gift from the game devs if you've completed or have an epic in your library. It's a little pet, shoots occasionally. Houston, the icon in the gate seems to indicate another 3D printer. That's good news. Enter and unlock it, so we can continue from here if your body is destroyed. Acknowledged. Ghost Boogan here. Best if you could scan yourself again. You picked up new stuff, and it would be nice to have them next time your body is printed. Understood. I'll try to scan myself any time I have new items. Wouldn't want to lose anything important. But what if I get destroyed before I can scan all the cool weapons or power-ups I've found? Try checking the wreckage of your last body, I suppose. You might be able to recover something. As was stated, in survival mode, or if you die before you can scan yourself, you will basically drop anything you have on you. Now, this is probably where the real game begins. This is pretty much the overworld. Ah oh, yes, these are sprites, or spirits, I don't know which. If you collect them all, you will get a special item. Normally they only appear once you've completed a room, and since this room has no possible enemies to spawn, it has been automatically completed. Upon collecting all of them, they'll begin to gather where you click, or apparently they gather in a random spot. Houston, there are multiple paths. Which way do you want me to go? Uh, I don't know. We don't have a map. Just choose a direction. That's reassuring. No guidance from my operations chief. You don't need guidance. Just choose the fanciest hallway or something. You mean select randomly? Yes. We'll be the first ones to map the Nakamura space station. As was pointed out, you have no map until you explore. Hence, lack of map. Ooh, that gave us plus 5% chance to obtain double the energy from the cube. Which means... Would have been nice if it would have gone off then. I don't know why I did that. Normally these rooms take, these security rooms take a while to actually get the um, sprites from. Those will probably be the third and last one, unavoidable one at least, that I'll be doing on screen most likely. Unless you guys want me to do them on screen, I don't know, it's basically just me running around and killing things. Which, to be fair, is most games in a nutshell. Like I said, little dragon shoots occasionally. Occasionally. You look, there's little red lasers that fire sometimes. That looks fun. What's his face? Uh, I believe Jacker is his name? It's been a bit since the last episode. We'll make occasional comments while you're doing these as he hacks through them. Normally items will have a use, as is denoted by this little infinity symbol, and you only get them back upon either buying refills, yes you don't get free item refills whenever you're at a save point, or by red card required or by essentially finding them randomly. However, I have no luck, like, at all, when it comes to finding those refills randomly. I don't believe we can actually go this way. Which means, the astute of you may have noticed a little door here. This door 
this little symbol or pad or whatever it means that this is a oh crap that it's a vent area however that one is locked from the inside which means we have to come from the other side as you could probably guess now it appears we've gone the wrong way great start isn't it Nothing that can't be fixed with a little bit of backtracking. Something I'm sure those of you that grew up with Castlevania the games are quite accustomed to. As holy shit, those games are mazes. And I'm really sure that's how the devs like them. I'll probably do this room later. Let's see, is this one blocked? Yes it is. These little bastards are bombs. Thankfully, bombs hurt other things. Oh god, the lag. Normally the game doesn't lag, but I guess so, oh, that's bad. Normally the game doesn't lag, however... Oh crap, ow. Yeah, those things do a lot of damage. Normally the game doesn't lag, however, I guess... Recording makes it lag a little bit? I don't know. Power outage thing is weird. It only shows up in certain areas. I don't know why or what particularly warrants it, but it does. For whatever reason. Oh, if these little things make it to the edge of the screen, they'll probably call some security droids on you. Which means that you will actually have a combat robot attempting to kill you now. However, sprites. These sprites are supposedly the machine spirit, as it were. If any of you are familiar with 40k, or, well, I know the three of you that are watching this at the moment. And you are familiar with 40k. These are basically the machine spirits within the machines. Or at least, from what I understand from the game's lore. Yes, they drop items. Crap. Um, I think I may just do this room so that I can get up to over here. Because that little energy uh, energon cube thing means it's a shop. Oh god, these guys are terrifying. Because they shoot rockets. Ow, and those rockets do a lot of damage. And I'm fairly sure this... yeah. We frankly are not quite ready for them yet. Oh, he is... that one's slightly less terrifying. Although he does shoot faster. Going smoothly. Nearly done. You can take them over, like pretty much any other robot enemy in this game. Done. You're free to go. The best way to dodge missiles is to put something between you and the person firing them. Thank you, my dragon friend. I recall this room actually gives shitty rewards. Yeah. Considering the difficulty, it gives pretty shitty rewards. Or at least the difficulty for where we're at currently. Did I not make that jump? I don't know. Well, not if you don't jump before you fall off. Nope, we can make that jump. Just take some effort. In some sort of supply room? Looks like it. Talk to the robot. Try to get information. And please be very polite. Do not target him with your gun. I'm on it. Hooray! Thingies. Greetings. Welcome to the supply room. I haven't seen you here before. Uh, no. You're a new model here in Nakamura. I am a new model here in Nakamura. Oh, finally! Some fresh Seneca. Is there any technology I can offer? Uh, yeah, sure. The Naka AI algorithm would be nice. I might be short on cash, though. <laughs> it is good to see that the new models finally include a sense of humor. There is no money in Nakamura. Everything is free. Take whatever you need. Anything? No limit? What's the catch? Well, dispensers need energy cubes to print devices. You can get whatever you like as long as you have the energy cubes for it. 
Basically, what he says is, technically, the energy isn't currency. However, the way it's used is. Shotgun. It's a fucking shotgun. Mine gun. It shoots mines, as is probably apparent. The wave gun. This is an interesting gun, and one that I will be probably showing you at some point. It is basically a melee weapon. Beam. It's a fucking Spartan laser. What the fuck do you expect? These are your base gun upgrades. I will be buying these before anything else more often than not. Just simply because, well, you'll be using your base gun more often than anything else in the game. Oh, where in the hell are we going? Okay. Also... Okay. Boogan here. Look out below. There are a lot of androids. Don't worry, Boogan. I'll control the biggest one and use it to destroy the rest. And maybe use it to explore the next room. As she stated, this is actually my favorite tactic, and one I will actually probably be upgrading quite a bit. Yup. However, I completely forgot how to use the body shield. <laughs> It's been a while since I've played this game. Oh, these th these guys. I think these ones were the ones that I was thinking were assholes. Because they spin at you, and they're surprisingly tanky. Ow. They do a lot of damage. And they're probably the most difficult thing to control, because they don't move around like you normally would. By the way, rooms don't complete until you complete the objective set out in those rooms. For instance, in the previous room, you if you'd managed to keep the giant fucking robot alive and bring him into this room, it will probably complete both this room and the last room. As, as you can see, we've killed everything in here. But no spirits dropped. Spirits are very important because they are your main source of items as well as upgrades. This is just... good to do. I really wish you could suicide a robot. I think that's actually an upgrade. Wait, Dewey's not looking? Yes, I believe the upgrade I got is a double shot, or a chaser, as it was called. The reason I just switch automatically to the spirit is because, well, it's a lot easier to collect some sprites this way. Houston, I have the green access card. However, it doesn't have the full password on it. I'm not sure how much of it is missing. Damn, they may have split the password for security reasons. We'll have to find the other card pieces for the full password. Yep. You don't get the full card all the time. In this case, it's broken up into five parts. This is what I was talking about for your level. This allows you to pick things in the skill points. Trees. Frankly, outside of the first few upgrades, they're kind of shit for a while. From what I could tell, upgrading this is basically making the game harder for most upgrades. Energy derivation interface. This is probably my favorite tree to upgrade as, well, you get to go faster as your ghost. You get to pick up energy cubes as your ghost. That one's actually pretty good. Ghost short circuits robots. She moves through and ghost form for five seconds. This basically gives you a stun, which is... I've never really played with it, however, I might play with it in this playthrough. This improves those farming rooms. I never really saw a need to upgrade it very much. However, it can be very useful for certain playstyles. I might try it as well. Crash and burn. Basically, 15% chance that when things drop in, they'll die instantly. Hello, world. This includes extra options to show the position and level of alarm souls 
Yes, they're called souls, not spirits. I don't know why I call them spirits, but eh, maybe it just rolls off the tongue better. At least it does to me. This turns alarm turrets into your friends. Unfortunately, it's only alarm turrets, which is saddening, because normal turrets are assholes. Because they place them in very annoying spots. Bugen has good upgrades, if that makes sense. Double jump. Yeah, your chassis upgrade is probably what most people will upgrade, just simply because it improves things like health and gives you abilities like the double jump, which isn't required, but for fuck's sakes, it's a double jump. Those knockers are pretty impressive. I know someone who has one at home. He says that some people in his family think it's a normal person. People are stupid by default. Too easy to fool. What do you mean? That those who confuse a fake mind with a human mind have a deep lack of intelligence. And I suppose you can tell them apart right away. Of course. The Turing test was precisely created to... Jacker, I have something to confess. I am a robot. Hmm. That's a little taste of the dynamic that you'll be seeing for a large portion of this game. Most humans probably follow in What's-His-Face's Jacker, in Jacker's footsteps, in that they don't really think humans have, and that they don't really think robots. To create a shortcut, drag the icon. There's a way to fuse items, which is why I came in here. I don't remember how, though. I know it's how I normally upgrade things. Because you can upgrade those regeneration things into, well, better regeneration things, which later on in the game, or hell, right now, is pretty nice. Just simply due to the fact of, well, you could always use more health regen whenever you use an item. As you have to buy the refills, I believe. Once you clear one of those areas for the first time, you have to personally reactivate it. Meaning that I could do it right now and make you sit through me basically grinding mobs for a while. Gets the double jump, immediately forgets he has it. Good job! Dumbass. Just... Yeah, I just get used to me being a dumbass. Other than again, some people are entertained by such things. I'm not sure which is faster, rolling or just walking. Oh, here's a question. Can I sneak underneath these? There are some of these that are required for progress. I may die to this one. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Yeah. Cheesy one letters. Oh fuck! Yeah, they're starting to throw new enemy types at you. Or at me, at least. Fuck! You healing bastard! There are some enemies that'll shield other enemies. They're assholes! Because I have terrible aim. Because it's somewhat RNG. Because while you are moving, your aim is automatically made shittier. Going smoothly. Nearly done. You do actually get extra rewards for surviving these without taking damage, by the way. Three, two, In terms of the mandatory ones, one. I'll probably leave them out even though they're not really necessary. Just, it, well, I'll probably leave them in rather, just simply because, well, it's kind of, well, something you'll be forced into yourself, so it's part of a normal playthrough. However, farming them? Hell no. I'm I'm just going to do that off camera. Yes, when the power's off, you can't actually... It's like... You can hear me spamming the key. Oh god, no. No, 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 bad. Apparently that wasn't the only one. 
yeah, in the few areas where this game does shit like... One good thing about having the power on. Ow. Yep, that's first death. One good thing about having the power off, you, um, you don't have to deal with turrets. Where am I? I don't have the thing yet that shows where things are on the map, where healing items and such are on the map. This is not the right way, is it? No, it is not. Like I said. Yeah, those guys have retardedly good aim. It's weird. I'll probably do this room on my own time, as stated previously. I think there's actually a thing for completing the entire room using that guy, which is actually a lot more difficult than one might think. Again gets the double jump, immediately forgets he has it, when it could have saved him from that. When it could have saved me from actually a surprising amount of damage. Like most Castlevanias, when it comes to ranged stuff, it is more or less a case of just dodging things. Actually, why am I going about destroying those? I don't really need to. Double jump can kind of throw you off of some jumps, in that it, you might over jump things, but, well, you might not, as it's a double jump. It is kind of required to get some items, namely some, not all. Also, there's no fall penalty as far as I know, aside from falling out of the map. Whoa, okay. Yeah. By the way, the Seeker homes. So, if you have shitty aim like me, you don't have to worry about it. Plus, it provides a free double shot. Let's see, where am I going? What is this? I didn't notice that. Yeah, they can't move and shoot, like you can. Choose the HP of damaged enemies. Fresh burn. Hello world! Map includes extra options to show the position and level of alarms, souls, secrets, and more information. Secrets are kind of entertaining. In that, well, they turn things into random other things. It's entertaining. Repair nano machines. I've never really gotten that. However, I would rather honestly have haste. So, ghost, I've been wondering. Uh oh, that can't be good. What's your real name? And what country are you from? I'm afraid that information is classified, Operations Chief. What? How about family members? Favorite movie? Age? Jacker. It's very rude to ask for a lady's age. Aha! So you are a woman. This information is also classified. <laughs> yeah, Ghost is a bit of a smart ass. Which I find entertaining. I don't know about you guys. Fuck you, turrets. Not turrets. Turrets are surprisingly entertaining. I said turrets! So, again, backtracking. Oh, then now you get to listen to my lovely voice and be, well, entertained at mostly dead air and incessant rambling as I attempt to just kind of mosey around. It's kind of dickish placing these here just simply because they kind of blend into the background. So unless you're looking for them, you will miss them. Always check for hidden robots. 
Seriously. It is very nice to have a save point there. As... Ow! He probably fell from above. If that spooked anyone, yeah. They're kind of assholes about hiding people. Yep, he was over there. Now, I'm going to save because we've gotten some upgrades. By the way, you can teleport between these. Which is very useful for later on in the game because the map is very large. Fuck that up. Now, I have no idea where in the fuck I'm going. I'm pretty much just seeking out the random cards again. This one isn't necessary, so I'm not going to do it. I will do it off screen, but I'm not going to make you guys watch me just kind of. Ow! Yeah, these lasers. They're basically traps. And that these little things will detect you if you run by. And. This is explaining the rolling. You can hide behind boxes. Ow. Maybe this disables the traps, though it could be wrong. Ow. Yeah, those those death laser lasers, they, they do a lot of damage. They're actually a very important component of later traps. I said I'm surprisingly less shit at this game, yet I'm dying more than I did in Mercenary Kings. Eh, I can just shit at games in general. That's probably it, to be fair. <laughs> eh. I almost forgot about the trap. Like I said, it's been a while since i played this game. What you want to do with the death lasers is just let them do their thing and then run past them. This is a very simple puzzle, one that I fucked up for whatever reason. I don't know why either. It's, like I said, it's a very simple puzzle. Again, not forced to do that one. Not going to do it on camera. Hmm. Let's check out the shop together. Yay! Oh, we can buy items. I do not have enough cubes. Normally items are kind of useless. Kind of. This will refill them. It is very use- it is honestly the most useful item in here. By the way, every time you die you have to resummon pets. The healing is pretty much the only thing I'll buy from him, at least as of current. Green card required. Elevated access level required. Mm hmm Let's see now. Ghost, those tubes look delicate. Be careful where you aim. Ghost Boogan here. Be mindful of your power-ups. Some of them could damage those tubes. It'd be best to disable them while you're in there. Boogan has a point as if you shoot these pipes, the steam they put off will damage you. So turning off things like the seeker shot, it, yeah, yeah, do it. Just don't forget to turn it back on after you're done. There's no reason you should ever turn off your power-up shot. Seriously, it's just a damage buff. Fucking ladder. <laughs> it did not want me to climb it. Yes. The actual need for what you need to do to... The actual objective you need to fulfill to gather these sprites is somewhat strange and kind of mercurial. I don't know why I said mercurial specifically. I do believe it just kind of drops it near- oh, dicks.
Remember how I was saying we might be able to just kind of suicide? I wish I could suicide a robot. Well, now we can. Yep. But what's up? I believe that increases your clip size, though. I could be wrong. Sand for guns that adds more capacitors increases the maximum number of shots by one. Son of a bitch. It's surprisingly frustrating. Now let's see. And yeah, I could go up or down. I think I'll go up. And I said, don't forget to turn your seeking shot back on when you're done with it. Immediately forgets to turn it back on when he's done with it. Because, yeah, it's very useful if you have shitty aim like me. Yeah, double jump. It can get you places you couldn't normally get. Or at least get you places very easily. Yeah, these guys are mines. They just kind of run at you if you're too close. And explode. The respawn mechanic can be slightly annoying with them, because if you take too long getting through an area full of them... They'll just respawn while you're trying to get through that area. And especially when it's dark like this, that means you could they could respawn and you just simply don't know about it until you run face first into one. Seeker shot. Pretty much entirely the reason I got anything there. This room. This death laser this death laser cannot be turned off. However, the However, their rewards for it are surprisingly shit, so I probably won't actually- Fuck! <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> so I probably won't actually be doing it. Myself. This room. This is basically an exercise in how to use Ghost. In that... Like I said, they can't move and shoot. And I can't pick up Energon. Oh, if they can jump! Hooray! Yeah, you'll be using these to complete objectives quite often. I do think the robots largely ignore you, for the most part. Unless you start attacking, except for these guys. The civilian robots will ignore you, just simply because you kind of look like another civilian robot. Yep, another dark segment, and this time without all your upgrades. By the way, these guys don't get upgraded with your suit upgrades. Or your power-ups. Really wish these mines could chain explode. It would make clearing them so much easier, especially when you have shitty aim like me. And yep, that's how you do that puzzle. I forget how to actually go about unlocking the sprites for this room, though. That's 60%, and that's another skill point. I'll probably put this into energy deri derivation, maybe? I don't know. This one can be useful. As it basically eh, allows you to not have to worry so much about how long it takes to get to your energon cubes. Hmm. This can be useful for item conservation, as can this. The chassis is basically tank, ghost is basically specialty, jacker is for farming, boogan is for, well, energy, and just utility. This is for upgrading things and drops and enemy robots. However, it should be noted something I didn't say, is that every tree also has an upgrade. So, upgrading your ghost improves the robot damage of robots you possess. Upgrading your chassis improves your health. Upgrading Boogan, extra bullets. Upgrading Jacker, hacking speed. Fine. 
upgrading this, finding repair kits. If you are bad, I would recommend putting upgrades into Nakamura. However, I am going to wind up putting upgrades into well, Bugen because his second level stuff is actually pretty good. This can actually be pretty good and I might grab it. I think you can right click. Nope, 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 you can't. Well, balls. That sucks. That'll yeah, say that up on the top right every time we go over it. Hey, Ghost, what do you think about the robot I created? Well, it's comfortable. The way it's controlled reminds me of a shell of a Naka I controlled once. <laughs> That's because it's a modified Naka. It took me a year to alter its schematics. Oh, really? Where did you manage to find Naka schematics? <clears throat> Jacker here. I'm afraid this information is classified. Mm hmm. Jacker's kind of a bit of a prick. So, yeah, just get used to it. Health bar is not useful in a way, however, it gives you. It gives you a sense of how long it's going to take till you kill something. Ugh, fucking turrets! <laughs> As you can tell, I don't like turrets. Just spout random curse words. Not good for the family, I say. Fuck you and your repair robots. If you kill the repair robots, it actually resets the time it takes for things to respawn. Going to heal real quick. I'm very glad you can actually just, like, do that. I'm also very glad there are no enemies in this duct. Because that would be annoying. Fucking ladder. This ladder is an asshole. <laughs> now. I don't believe I can pick up anything in the shop. I may be wrong. I was wrong. I'm going to grab this. Because it's a heal. That's my entire reasoning for it. Green card required. Elevated access level required. Yes, you only have 60% of the green card. Oh, good lord. These guys, they are surprisingly beastly. As is demonstrated by Jesus. Oh. Yeah, they'll also spot you without you having to fire on them, like most other robots do. Winter John actually disappears. I didn't know that. I've never actually gone long enough for it to disappear. So this robot houses all of the inner John. I'll be needing that. Thank you. That 5% to get extra inner John. It comes in more handy than 5% would make it out to be, as you get a lot of inner John. And yes, I'm calling it Energon. Why? Because fuck you, it's Energon. Again, this one's forced, so I'll do it on screen. I'm beginning to think you're triggering them on purpose. That would be because I am. Just because fuck you. What in the hell is damaging me? Yeah, he uses a little boomerang thing. He's probably the shittiest robot, however, he's oftentimes paired with the shield ones. Oh, they had an acid plant. I forget what those ones do, I normally just kill them too quickly. Oh, fuck you! Fuck you, Jack! Yeah, the little saw blades are also very annoying, because your seeker bullets won't target the shield guys. They'll target the closest enemy. Most areas are honestly just you running around for the card. 
in the area so you can get to the next area. However, I enjoy this area personally. I don't actually think there's a melee though. I would really like it if this game had a melee that you didn't have to buy. What in the balls is he for? You douchebags! You killed him! You killed him! Yeah, like I said, spirit makes collecting sprites a lot easier. I have no idea what in the hell he is used for. Do you have to, like, use him to weigh down the thing? You might do. Oh, yes you do. I'm going to grab these spirits while I'm thinking about it. Motherfuckers. And on to the key. First, skill point. Because Inner John. Inner John is nice. What'd you get? Like, as you can probably note here, just get more skill points in these trees and you will unlock more shit. You get a surprisingly few amount of skill points, so make your decisions wisely. Not every key card requires a conversation, which is nice. And I am a long way. I am probably going to teleport back to that. Let's go! There is one gun later on. I am going to warn you, it is rather orky. It is possibly my favorite gun aside from the base gun. Well, that and the laser. The laser is surprisingly entertaining because it's a fucking laser! It's a Spartan laser. It's... It's good for the whole family. Mm. Item magnet. I don't know if I can actually combine the item magnets. I know there is a way to combine items. I'm not sure what it is or if I even can currently. I completely skipped over the room I needed to be in to teleport, didn't I? This... yeah, this one eats up time. I could have just gone through the fucking ducks, God damn it! Yeah, the ducks. That top bit is actually a lot nicer. You can get repair things from killing these guys. I don't really care for them. Just simply because it takes time. However, this also takes time. Let's just get a repair first. Teleport. Over here. I'm going to be speeding up things a lot. Just simply because I'm impatient. Crates! Yeah, never pass up the chance to smash crates. Hmm. If you can't get anywhere in a room, you might need to go in ghost form. Or not. Hmm. Strange. I can't come here yet. Weird. I might legitimately just have to... Yeah... Okay. Then I'll run for it. Yep. I thought so. I have to go through the lift here. Okay. Okay, I see. 
are you? Fuck you. I'm out, bitch. I'm not. And... Haste is surprisingly useful, as it makes some puzzles easier. I'm going to return this motherfucker down here. As that. The Energon is surprisingly useful, especially if you're bad, like I am, and die every time you get enough Energon to buy something. There might actually be times where I might get an upgrade from Jacker just simply so that we can instantly get past these. Just because making you guys sit through this. Do you, well, frankly, it's because I'm bad at editing. So, if I was good at editing, I'd just skip through these. But I'm not. So you get to sit through them with me? And rewards? I always love the rewards. I'm still not sure which is faster, rolling or walking. It's probably rolling by like a frame or two. Oh, you're not getting away, bitch. And get ran down. I'll pop in and heal real quick. Like I said, I'm bad, so I'm going to heal a little bit. Also, like I said in the previous episode, I am less shit at this game than I am at Mercenary Kings, and the fact that I'm this bad will just show how bad I am at Mercenary Kings in later levels. Hmm. Oh, you need a little... You need an actual security card for up there. Duh. That's useless. I've been trying to hack the system to find the server room, but it's a no-go. We could just ask someone. Ask who? Google? Siri? Space fairies? Of course not, man. I meant we could just ask a robot for directions. Jesus. That sounds so ridiculous that it just might work. Ghost. Jacker here. Try asking a robot where the server room is. We're... Asking for directions? We're not losing anything by trying. Copy that. You there! Tell me where the server room is! Now! You ass! I was totally going to trigger this anyway. But oh well. Yes! You get to shoot through three of the- er, what, four of these now? Oh god, bombs! through fucking four of these this episode. Isn't that entertaining? And it's entirely just me shooting shit. Once I get more guns, it'll probably be more entertaining. I'm not even shooting things now! I don't know whether this is speed-based or wave-based. It might be wave-based. However, he can actually finish hacking, and it'll spawn a wave right after he finishes. Or at least, when he says it, he finishes. Oh yes! Achievements. For whatever reason, I haven't unlocked, like, the really, really early level ones for when you... Oh god, this room is just... That just looks like pain. Hooray, it's up! And these are suit upgrades. This one can get you into some trouble. This one is actually surprisingly useful. Interval acceleration. Rate of primary gun. That is also useful. All of these are useful. That is the most useful, however. That improves our max health. I'm getting that. And that. The jump wave. I may as well just get all of them. Fuck it. <laughs> No reason not to. 
Did they automatically turn on when I put when I grabbed them? Yes, they did. Or up jump wave. This is literally just that. It doesn't work for your double jump for whatever reason. I don't know. Maybe you need a double jump wave. I don't fucking know. But it does a little bit of damage. You could use it to pretty quickly clear crates. Because that's where you that is very strange. Yeah. So I'm not used to this whole talking. Oh, you can roll with the little ones. Cool. I'm still not used to this whole talking to myself thing. Although I will eventually get used to it. I promise. Sweet Jesus. So many minds. Yeah, these these guys like to make like quotes from the Star Wars game. Hmm. Remember how I said you couldn't suicide a robot? Yes, you can. Over here is where double jump comes in very handy. Because that. Also, it... Double jump is just so useful. Why would you not get it? And I have the green card. This was the last part of the password. The green access card is now complete. Good job, Ghost. We can now proceed to green sector. Okay. So, this is probably around the point where I should be wrapping up. I'm not going to grab this. It would just give us more robot percent damage. However, we don't need it. So we don't really care for it. Defense roll. This basically makes you take half damage when you're rolling. This makes you get extra Dark Souls up in this bitch. Although, that does not mean it makes us get Dark Souls 2. Fuck Dark Souls 2. I say that. I don't actually mind Dark Souls 2, personally. Efficiency of the repair. I may get this. However, I don't exactly know. Make it the map thing. But again, I don't know. Hmm. Oh wow. This basically adds repair units into your... Oh no? Oh, it sends repair bots to repair you after an alarm. That's... I'm gonna pick that up. Yeah. This, get this. This will be my next fucking purchase, most likely. Yamato, I've been told we have an intruder in outer heaven. Is that true? Mimoko-san, I have it under control. Our defense system is... Why the hell was I not informed? Sir, with all due respect, I didn't have enough information to write a report. And how the hell did it get in? We suspect they bypassed our controls in the space lift. They? How many intruders are there? We've already destroyed a few. There shouldn't be many of them left. Mr. Yamato, your security department is the shame of this corporation. Do whatever must be done. Yes, sir. Yeah, Japanese people don't sound Japanese at all. So, this has been the Mad Hatter, and this is the ending of our episode. Have a good one, and see you next time. <laughs>